Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this smoke logo reveal is created in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and as you can see that I've already imported these two footages. So first we have this logo and it's completely up to you. You can use whatever logo you want. And second we have this smoke footage which I will put a link in the description from where you can download this. So once you have downloaded them, just import them in After Effects and you are ready to go. So after that we are going to create a new composition. Let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we're going to create another composition for our logo. So let's call this logo and rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now inside the logo comp, we are going to just drag our logo something like this. And let's scale this down by pressing S and I'm going to make this little bit smaller just like this. So now we can go back to the main comp and let's quickly drag our logo composition something like this. Now let's create a background. So for that, we can right click new and let's create a new solid let's pick a color and i'm going to pick this dark purple color and let's make it even darker something like this just click on ok now we can place it below our logo now we can drag our smoke footage so let's drag it into this something like this and first we are going to apply a couple of effects onto this so first one is curves so let's just search for it and let's drag it onto this and first I'm going to change its mode from normal to add and if you're not able to see the modes option then you can click over here and now I'm going to just add a little bit of contrast so that we have this sort of look something like this so here you can see we have this sort of look but first let me just quickly select this and we are going to make this bigger so press S and I'm going to just scale this up a little bit something like this now we can select this press ctrl D to duplicate it and on this one we are going to press R so that we can rotate it a little bit and also let's press S and I'm going to scale this quite a bit something like this and on this one we are going to change some colors so for that you can apply one more curves effect and after that you can go under the individual channel and from here you can just play around with the curves. So I'm going to make this purple. So for that, I'm going to increase the red curve and let's increase the blue curves as well. If we go under the green curve, we can just decrease it a little bit so that we have some sort of purple look just like this. So this is exactly what we want. And in the same way, you can play around with all the colors. Now let's do a really nice reveal of our logo. For that, we are going to create another solid. So right click solid and just click on OK. On this one, let's apply fractal noise. So just search for fractal noise and let's drag it onto this. After that, let's increase the contrast quite a bit and I'm going to increase little bit of brightness. Let's go under the complexity and I'm going to set this to something like five. Let's go under transform and let's scale this up something like this. Now I'm going to place this on top of our logo and after that we can select the logo. And from here, we can change the track mode option to Luma matte so that you can see that only a couple of parts are visible and we can control this by simply moving the brightness slider, something like this. So let's animate it quickly. So in the beginning, I'm going to set this to something like negative 300. Let's add a keyframe and let's move ahead somewhere around here. I'm going to just reveal the full logo, something like this. So if I play back, here you can see we have this really nice logo reveal. But if you think that this is too fast, then you can just simply select this, press CU, and you can move the keyframes ahead, something like this. So I think this is looking fine. So once you're happy with your reveal, we can add some more particles to this. So for that, let's right click, go to new, and let's add a solid. Just click on OK. And on this one, we are going to apply CC particle system to just select this and let's drag it onto this. And after that, we are going to change a couple of settings. So first, let's go under the longevity and I'm going to set this to something like three or four maybe. And let's go under the producer. And let's set both X and Y to zero. 
Now let's go under the physics and I'm going to change the type to fractal explosive and gravity we can set this to zero so that you can see we have this sort of look and also we can go inside the particles and let's change the particle type from line to you can pick whatever you want there are a bunch of different types and I'm going to select this one and after that we can play around with the size so let's increase the size variation and I'm going to decrease the death size and birth size and rest of the things will remain same let's change the color so I'm going to make this white and this one I'm going to make this purple just like that so here you can see we have this sort of look and right now the particles are coming way too fast so for that we can just simply decrease the birth rate so we can set this to 0.5 maybe something like this and also we can decrease the speed so we can set this to 0.5 as well now we can add a keyframe to control this so let me just quickly do that so in the beginning we can set the keyframe for birth rate and let's press u to reveal the timeline after that you can move a couple of frames ahead and then you can just simply change the birth rate to zero something like this and if you want more particles then you can just simply set the value to one in the beginning something like this now let's select this layer and i'm going to set this to add as well and we are ready to add some glow to this so for that search for glow and let's drag it onto this layer now we are going to just increase the glow radius little bit and let's decrease the glow intensity now I can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and after that let's increase the glow radius and intensity and we can press ctrl d once again so that you can just play around with these values something like this so here you can see we have some really nice particles and if you want to increase their velocity then you can go under the velocity and you can just simply set this to whatever value you want so if i set this to one so now if i play back here you can see particles are coming at a large force and if you want this type of look then you can go with this and once we are done with this let's add some glow to the smoke as well so for that let's select the smoke and let's drag glow and we are going to just increase the radius a little bit and let's drag the intensity then press ctrl d something like this so here you can see we have this really nice reveal and now let's add some shake to make this really stand out so for that we can right click go to new and let's create a new null object after that you can select all the layers except the background and let's parent it to the null now we can select the null and on top of this we are going to apply slider controller so let's drag it onto this and let's drag one more so that we have two slider controllers now we can select this press p for position let's hold on the alt key so that we can add an expression now you can type wiggle rounded braces and first we are going to pick the first slider then comma then just simply pick the second slider something like this so now we can control the wiggle expression using these two sliders let me show you how so first i'm going to add keyframes now we can select this press u and let's start from zero and somewhere over here we can just change their value so i'm going to set this to 25 and this to 30. now let's move a little bit more further and we are going to set both the values to zero something like this so now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice vibration or we can select this hold on the alt key so that we can move the keyframes further apart something like this so there you go this is how you can create these kind of smoky particle logo reveal animation and you will notice that there are some particles at the end as well so for that you can just simply select these two layers smoke ones and you can just simply trim their endpoints just like that and you can also add some opacity animation so that these will fade out let me just quickly do that so let's press t let's add keyframes for opacity and let's move them further apart and let's change their value to zero something like this 
So there you go. Now you have your really amazing particle reveal. And if you want to change the color, there is a very nice trick. You can just simply search for HLS color balance and then you can just drag it onto whatever particles or smoke you want. And now you can change the color by simply moving this slider and you can see that all the colors are changing. So in this way, you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. <music>